How's it going, everybody? Um, I'm going to do a, a review of a, uh, the Frederick Constant High Life that was graciously lent in to me by Mimo at Mimo's Jewelry. I will link him in the description. I do in most of my videos. Um, if you guys are looking for Seikos, Alpinas, G-Shocks, Hamiltons, um, FCs, Mimo's your guy. Um, he's he's the person you're gonna you're gonna want to go to his website um, and or reach out to him on email. Ask him if he's got it. Uh, if there's a Seiko you like, ask him about it. He'll, I mean, he'll take pictures of it and send it to you to see if that's the one you really want. So, as far as someone that goes above and beyond, Mimo is he's the guy that I do business with um, when I'm looking for you know brands that he carries. So, with that said, we're gonna flip the video here and uh, we'll take a look at it. Okay, here's the High Life. Um, like I said, Mimo lent this into me. I had seen this watch when uh, we did a Random Rob meetup in Michigan, but I didn't really get a chance to look at it, look at it. So Mimo sent it to me. I have a little bit of a relationship with Mimo. Um, super nice guy. But he lent me his personal watch, and for him to trust me, that says a lot. So thank you very much for that, Mimo. Um, anyway, the FC High Life here. This is a watch that honestly I wasn't really, when I first saw it, I wasn't really taken aback by it or anything. And after I'd seen some pictures, I kind of wanted to have a little bit more time with one of these to, to see one. So the measurements that I got on my little cheap calipers um, from, you know, side to side, I got 40. Um, and I have this one on the rubber strap. So with the rubber strap on it from, you know, lug to lug length, I got about 52 to 52 and a half, give or take, um, about 12 millimeters thick, seven millimeter crown. The lugs on these, well, if you can call them that, but you know, your strap width on this one, I got 26 millimeters. It might be 25, 25 and a half, but, um, but that's, that's what I got. And then the face of the watch, which this is the part that, you know, that's what makes your watch look big or not on these, uh, pretty much bezel -less design watches. That one I got 35 millimeters on. So things about this watch that I wasn't really sure of when I first saw it was this little, I'm getting the right light here. It's like a globe, I guess, to me. It's probably not, but that's what it reminded me of. And when I first saw it, I didn't really care for it, but I've worn this watch for a week. Mimo said, wear it, you know, see what you think of it. So I wore the watch for a week, and I got to tell you, I, I really like it. I, I took it off the bracelet. Mimo shipped it on the bracelet and sized it, and uh, I like the bracelet. I'll show that to you. But... Uh, Honestly, since it's not my watch, I just threw it on the strap because uh, I didn't want to mess up your watch, Mimo. These do have the nice quick, um, they're not a, like, what I want to say, like a quick pin, I guess, where you can uh, push these together and it'll take the strap or bracelet off quickly. And it makes it nice for quick strap changes. The bracelet on this watch is really good. Let me get that real quick here. He sent everything in this little, uh, I like these little Hamilton cases when I can get my hands on them. They're nice to have. So the bracelet, butterfly clasp, it has a nice, um, you know, it's nicely finished emblem, how it comes over. And it just, it gives it that finished look when it's closed. It does have the pearlage uh, inside the clasp, which no one else sees it, but it's just, that's one of those little touch things to me that kind of put something over the edge as far as, you know, just take that extra step. Um, the bracelet is super comfortable because it's, it's so, the uh, links are so short that you can, uh, you can get it adjusted really well. So, I mean, there's people that like butterflies, people that don't. I like them on certain watches. This is a watch that I like it on. Um, like I said, then it has the quick, uh, your little quick pins on the inside. So people have seen these. If you haven't, 
Let me see if I can get that. You just pull them in, and you can see right here if you look. Let me see if I can zoom that in a little bit. But they pull right in both sides. It just makes it really, really easy um, to change the strap of the bracelet. So let me get this back put up. This does have an SW200 Salita movement. And as most of you know, Salita is basically an ETA clone with an extra jewel thrown in. These are 26 jewels and your ETAs are 25. Um, this is a five Atmos water resistant watch, so I wouldn't be taking it swimming unless you don't plan on having it that long. But the watch itself, the only gripe I initially had was the crown. I wish it had a little bit more uh, knurling on it, but as you can see, it is a nicely finished crown and it matches the, um, the bracelet. But me wanting more grip would ruin the smoothness with the rest of the watch. So it's just one of those things that you have to just uh, take it into account. That's a, a form over function kind of design but it has really nice applied markers the loom on this watch is pretty good for what it is it's not a diver but um it's a nice i don't really want to even call it a sports watch because it just doesn't have the water resistance but it's a nice everyday wear watch if you don't work in a setting where you need you know something like this or uh if you're a marine mechanic or something, this definitely isn't your watch. But for an everyday, just normal wear watch, um, I really, really like this. I like it a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, I would purchase one of these. I feel like you get a whole lot of value for your money. Um, let me get it on the wrist here real quick. But my wrist is you now about, it's probably closer to seven and a half, more so than seven and a quarter. And you know, they are all bigger when you look at them like this versus if someone sees it in real life. But this watch, it's got a nice thinness to it. It's, it's not heavy on the bracelet or the strap, but it's extremely comfortable. Even though it's flat, like it doesn't have, you know, lug turndowns. For being a fairly flat design, it is so comfortable and it wears so nice. I'm actually gonna miss this watch, which I I didn't think, I knew I would like it once I spent some time with one, but not to the extent that I do. This is a really, really, really nice watch. Um, like I said, if you want one, get a hold of Mimo. I'll link, the, link it down in the description, like I said. Um, Mimo, he might have a discount code for you. He, Mimo's really good about discount codes and working with people and building, you know, relationships. It's, um, he's one of the best people I've ever done business with. You know, I'll shoot him an email if I want something. Hey, Mimo, it's Jack. And, you know, what can I get for you, basically? Just super, super nice guy. Um, and, I mean... Mimo's a busy guy, but he'll take the time to talk to you if you're if you're looking at something. Um, also, check out his barn find section on his uh, his website because there's a lot of cool stuff there. That's where I picked up the Omega that I have from. Um, but anyway, if you guys are interested at all in a high life, I would definitely hit Mimo up. Super cool watch. It is COSC certified, so you're getting a lot under two grand in my opinion so like i said hit him up see what you guys think and uh thanks for watching